All right, folks, so check this out. I was, I was talking to this guy that owns the company K9 Fishing yesterday, two days ago, and he was talking about his fishing line, and we didn't come to any kind of a deal. He's not sponsoring or anything like that, but he did send me a care package just to try out his line, try to spread the word on it. So have not tried it yet. I will give y'all a better update after I have tried it. Y'all know I'm very, very picky, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. So if it is good, I'll let y'all know. If it's not, I'll also let y'all know. But anyways, this is what he sent me. All this line shirts hoodie hat i did not expect to get near this much stuff he said he was going to send me a couple packs of line i didn't know he was going to send me this much so it's really cool i appreciate that from k9 and the way i do it is if i see a company supporting other people like if i see a, co a company that really sponsors a lot of pros or something i know they're trying to support the sport so i always try to use that type of stuff now obviously some companies in my opinion have better things than others so I do use what I think is best, but if I'm trying to venture out and try something new, I'm always going to use whatever company is the most supportive of anglers in the sport. So obviously, this guy's trying to do a lot of stuff. If y'all want to try some fluorocarbon, I would. I will let y'all know exactly how good it is very soon. Go one more look at it. So they have like actual 100% fluorocarbon. They also have some stuff that's like mixed fluorocarbon that's almost kind of like a cigar red label type it's mainly fluorocarbon but mixed with some other things to give it less memory has a little bit more stretch and a little bit better castability got me some braid fluorocarbon we set for a while what's going on folks we are back on home lake chickamauga we got a bass pro shops open series here this coming saturday so i'm gonna try to find us some fish today and tomorrow and then we're going to fish the tournament saturday so today is thursday don't know what we're going to do yet. We're going to get out here and mess around. We just got a Chester Frost. I hate this creek. This creek sucks, but that's where a lot of big ones are caught. A lot of fish are caught here, period. There's just nothing here. Do me both fish here. So, I'm going to fish here for a little while, see if we can't catch some. Just burn them up anyways. Then we're going to run down south some. Fish some docks, fish some shallow water, fish some rocks. See what we can do. Tomorrow we're going to put in further north, and that's the plan for today. Hopefully we'll catch us some. That's a Three pounder, two and three quarters probably. It's a good one though, not bad. No more telling what bait I'm throwing. If you know, you know. If not, can't tell you no more.
89 fluorocarbon. Pretty smooth feeling stuff. I like it pretty good so far. This uh, you can really feel every single rock. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to talk to the GoPro this time, so I ain't got to hold my phone out. This is uh, we'll see how it ends up. Hopefully, the audio is decent. So, I'm not coming down here in the tournament. That's for sure. This is the south end, so I'll most likely be fishing up around the grasshopper area. Don't that does not mean I will catch them there, or that does not mean they're biting there. That just means that's where I'll go because I don't think I can win down here. I did not throw an A rig at all today, and the reason for that was I had a few ways that I thought the fish would be moving up, and I, that's how I wanted to fish down this way. So I tried some things down here, it didn't work. Caught some two pounders. I caught one like two and three quarters, maybe three pounder, but mostly two pounders. Obviously, that's not going to win any tournament on this lake. So, anybody wants a Lake Chickamauga update? The pockets down here are very clear on the, on the very south end. The main river is stained, is not muddy. You probably have foot and a half, two foot of visibility. Pretty good. That's the kind of visibility I really like, anyways. The water temperature is anywhere from 48 to 49. I didn't see anything over 50 the whole day. I went pretty far back in some places, never saw it over 50. On the main lake, I never saw it less than 47, pretty much. Pretty much always 47 and a half to 48. So that's what lower end of Lake Chickamauga looks like right now. It's pretty clear for the most part. Got some jig bites. Probably won't be throwing that anymore. Got some cranking bites. Probably won't be throwing that anymore. So that was it for the day. Didn't really catch them too good. Caught enough to realize that I'm going the other end of the lake for the tournament. So. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. If you want to see these tournament footage from, it's going to be, I guess it'll be two videos from now. You want to hit that sub button, make sure you hit the, turn the alerts on, alerts on. Is that what it's called? Alerts? Yeah. Turn the alerts on so that whenever I post a video, you get a notification. All right. Appreciate it, guys. I will see y'all later.